Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are making a Miami Vice. So this cocktail is kind of like a blend, literally a blend of two particular cocktails, the pina colada and the strawberry daiquiri. So it's a frozen blended cocktail. You technically have to make two cocktails and then pour them in separately so it has a nice layered effect with the cocktail. I don't really know too much about this drink, but I think it's had a bit of a resurgence throughout lockdowns throughout last year, like 2020. But it's a, it's a tropical cocktail and it's really popular throughout beach resorts and not, not here. I haven't really been traveling or going to beach resorts lately, but uh, from what I've read in other countries around the world, it's been really popular. Uh, it predates the its namesake, well, it's not really its namesake then because it predates it. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's actually named after the Miami Vice TV show, which uh, was uh, aired in the uh, mid 80s, mid to late 80s. Um, I think it actually predates that. I don't know a lot about the history of this cocktail, who created it. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you okay there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was my wife in the background trying to hold back a sneeze. Let's get onto the cocktail. So, blended cocktail, straight into a jug. It, most recipes you'll find say it calls for uh, crushed ice just to make it easier on the blender. I like to think that I'm, I'm using a relatively baller blender, so it, it, it chews through the ice um, and I don't have any pebble ice uh, ready to go. So I'm just gonna go whole cubes and hope that my blender does the job. It should. So we're starting up with a light, light rum, a measure 45 mil. So I'm using Dorley's three, 1.5 ounces, light rum from Barbados. And then I've got a house-made cream of coconut. It kind of looks a little gray, to be honest, just from the choice of coconut cream. So sweetened coconut cream, 45 mil, 1.5 ounce, and fresh pineapple juice. Same measurement, 45, 1.5 ounce. And of course I'll leave a link so you can make your own cream of coconut at home in the description below and up here. Then next we have some fresh lime juice. Add a little bit of acidity. 15 ml, half an ounce. Pina colada ready to go. Add some ice, give it a blend. Before I get started on the cocktail, for those of you who don't have a blender but you still wanna make this cocktail, I have done a version two of the Miami Vice. I posted the video, I'll leave a link in the description and you can make this version without a blender. Use roughly one to one and a half cups of ice and blend. I want it a little bit thicker consistency, so I'm adding a couple more cubes, couple more cubes in. Just probably more, it's probably closer to one and a half cups. Now transfer it into your hurricane glass, highball glass, or in my case, a balloon. Now whilst you make the strawberry daiquiri, you can keep this in the fridge or freezer if you like. I'm gonna try and make it quick. And I don't have a freezer in my studio, so let's do it. So onto the frozen strawberry daiquiri. I'm using an aged rum, Cardi 8, 45 mil, 1.5 ounce. Of course, I gave the blender jug a quick rinse then three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil of fresh lime juice. The particular recipe I'm using called for two strawberries, but I'm an absolute fan for strawberries. I love strawberries, so I'm gonna double it. Go four strawberries. It's crazy like that, crazy. So again, about one, one and a half cups of ice and blend. Now, you can of course pour it straight on top, but I wanna maybe hold it on a bit of a, an angle like this so that it gives a nice visual effect, maybe. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's a, it's a the strawberry daiquiri's a tiny bit too thick. And I would definitely uh, encourage you to do like four more strawberries, purely for the color, because if you had two strawberries in there, it would be pretty light. <laughs> Perfect. It's probably not going to do much, really, to be honest. 
It may, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Don't bother doing the angle thing. It doesn't really work. <laughs> if this was a little bit runnier, some of the recipes I read as well, they say that the, the strawberry daiquiri must go on the bottom. Um, I don't know, I just felt like doing the strawberry on top. So it's completely up to you. And with another strawberry, we'll garnish it. Give it a few slices. Probably use a paring knife instead of a, a kitchen knife, but slice it multiple times and then you can kind of fan out the strawberry like so. And we'll just throw it on top. Going full 80s kitsch uh, with the garnish, strawberry fan, uh, pineapple, pineapple wedge, and pineapple spears just tucked in the back here. They have the Miami Vice. This is the first time I've had it. I mean, of course I've had a pina colada, I've had a strawberry daiquiri, but combining the two hasn't been done before. At least by me, I mean, a Miami Vice. Cheers. So obviously you can drink this how you want, you can mix it all up, and then you get the, the best of both worlds, both cocktails, or you can put the straw in, drink from the bottom, and you're drinking pina colada. Move the straw to the top, you're drinking a strawberry daiquiri. Choose your own adventure. I mean, it's, it's pina colada at the bottom. It's gonna be a sweet cocktail. Fruity, tart, a uh, little bit acidic from the strawberries. I think it really shines when you when you stir it all through and you get the best of both worlds, the pina colada and the strawberry daiquiri all together. I mean, it is a sweeter style cocktail. Is it my go-to cocktail? No, it is It is what it is. It's a beach resort cocktail. Um, it's a fun summer drink. It reminds you of, if, if you're on a holiday, it's gonna remind you exactly where you are. Sitting on the beach, drinking tropical drinks, drinking rum, pineapple, um, coconut, strawberries. What more do you want? This is, yeah, perfect for holidays. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a Miami Vice before and if you like it, if it's your go-to drink, let me know. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.